Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Zero Hour. Welcome back to another DEFCON game. Today is a little bit of a mystery game, to be honest, because I was sent this game by uh, Logica, actually. And this is, I believe, by me seeing the name Justice here, was some kind of a tournament. It was a bit of a secretive tournament. It wasn't really posted on the forums. I don't think I covered any of the games. Um, I don't really know how well-known it was at all, to be honest, but I did get... I think I got invited as a replacement player for someone. Ended up playing a couple of games, but then we lost pretty soon. But I'm expecting a mixture of levels here, to be honest. There's going to be, obviously, Logica, probably the strongest player here. I think there might be a Dark Nine here. I might be wrong. I think him and uh, I think Dark Nine and Logica were playing together. I don't know who their third was. So let's try and analyze the uh, level of play and see if we can work out who is who. So over here, we've got the pink player. Um, ha... Azazil. Quite sure who that is. Down in the south here, we've got Kitchen Kitchen Man. <laughs> Over on the right side, we've got Quantati. Quantati is... It's a left versus right, basically. So, yeah, Quantati here is against red. Got a drop here from pink. Killed a few units. Maybe like two terrorists there, or a worker and a terrorist. Up at the top right, we've got Cyan, which is versus top middle. We have... I don't even know what that says, but the green USA player. He's got a Chinook missing. Got an EMP being built here by Cyan. Okay. Cyan's currently collecting on no Chinooks. That is definitely not that's definitely not an expert player. To be collecting on no Chinooks and not prepared to get your royals as well is definitely not an expert level player. <laughs> I don't think so. Uh I don't think that EMP's even gonna get up either. He doesn't have the capture upgrade. Yeah, the MP is going to get stopped. I mean, that player there is heavily delayed. This guy here is getting one oil. The Chinook is being brought back after collecting some cash. Uh, Justice or Justice Tryhard, I think his name is. Not 100% sure. But he's got a few, a few buildings here and there. Demo Trapper Stealth you don't really see too often, to be honest. Especially when the, this tunnel's already been scanned because there's a drone there. And no oil cap coming along. And he is on two supplies there. He is on two supplies. That's good. Uh, Versus has already quit. That's the top guy here. Um, okay. So Quantati now inside of this bunker. He's also collecting fully on two supplies. No oil grab yet. I would like to see at least Rebels being queued up. But Hazazil. Two Vs out. Just pushing this technical away for a second um i think of all the players i've seen this one could be potentially logica i think but to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure from, from, from everyone else that i've seen i mean this guy has got nothing now that's why he's quit actually that's why he's quit so soon but i think that's poor money management from that, from that player to be honest shouldn't leave yourself with no money at that point no matter what you lose with your drop and stuff like that you should never be left with not enough money to like you can even sell that war factory and start capturing the oils i, I don't know <laughs> too much what is going on there yeah okay, we've got a bunch of these here from green uh pink is building a stretch center up in the top left now and he's made space One dozer there getting picked off. Who is what I'm truly pushing into Red's base. He has some rebels there ready to get the oils, but he doesn't have the capture upgrade just yet. Yeah, and Red's base is getting pretty wrecked. Kitchen Man has been defeated. Green now pushing into this base. Has a Zill. He's going to build an airfield, going to try and get to Aurora's. Ooh, we stepped on a demo trap. That is a huge, huge error there, stepping on that demo trap, because that demo trap has been revealed for, like, most of the game. And you've got these drones here on top of the Vs. So, yeah, four Vs gone down there. It's crazy, really. Search and destroy. Got Pink running around here. He has search and destroy Vs. But it's on one Chinook there. This guy is under a lot of pressure. Now, honestly, I'm not sure who's who. I think Logica could be pink or could be green, maybe. 
Green is taking a bit of a beating here. It's quite a lot of technicals. More and more Vs are going down. It's a bit chaotic, really. This is like... Not really sure who's winning. <laughs> I think to find out who's winning, I'm going to have to pause the replay for a second and just see. Um, <laughs> just see what's going on. At least Blue's on his oils now. So he's on two supplies and two oils. That's a really strong position, but he needs to get more workers there and especially more workers there because there's only one. So has a zeal. He should be on Auroras now or any second now. Just clearing it up this in his base. Once he gets two oils there, starts pumping out the Vs, gets Auroras, needs more workers there. Then his economy will actually be pretty good. In comes in, kills the strategy center in one shot with the Aurora. Please look there on the quad. I think <laughs> I think this is logic actually because I think that's supposed to be taker <laughs> taker she I've just uh, just realized what the uh, what the pun on words is so I, I'm guessing then blue is dark nine and green is logica maybe I think that's probably what it is but yeah pink should be doing a lot better here in my opinion he's not collecting air on his on his uh I don't even know what's happened to his War Factory and Barracks. Did they both die? And you're on, but he's sending out this. Little task force of Vs. Aurora comes in. But yeah, Pink really should have had these oils, and he should have been collecting on workers here and had this bunkered in with tunnels and stuff. This this position was prime for the taking when his mate died. TNT there gets intercepted. Yeah, Blue might actually struggle against the Search and Destroy Vs. If those two Vs actually just push there, they can outrange that tunnel and outrange anything that pops out of it. So Blue's going to actually need a palace soon. He's got the right amount of cash for it. Um, I also think someone needs to take this. And that oil cap is extremely, extremely slow. But yeah, this player was under a lot of pressure with all the technicals that came in the base. And from my experience, some of these games were pretty laggy as well when I when I played a couple. Don't know, it's, I don't remember really who the players were and stuff. If it's any of the same players, but some of them were quite laggy. They okay, search and destroy now for green. Wow, another demo trap, another death. Yeah, I mean. Demo trap there is a little bit random. You're probably not going to see that one, but yeah, that one there. I mean, when you when you got Vs with drones over all the time, especially when you come into an entrance like that, you should be looking. But sometimes with the, when there's lag or if you look away for a second, you can easily step on it. Here comes the TNT, and he's going to get a dozer. Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good. A10 now coming in from Pink. Pink really needs to be clearing up this area, man. This is. Uh, and he's still collecting only on one Chinook. Pretty embarrassing, <laughs> to be honest. Like he's still making it Rebels, but there's a Vet 3 quad right here. Hmm. But does he have a dozer now? Pink doesn't have a dozer. Oh no, he's got he's got a CC. Wait, what is he doing? He's dropping some ranges, okay. Hmm. I mean, Ranger Drop is kind of okay if you're fighting on multiple places and you've got a spare Chinook and some spare Rangers. You can do it in the hope that it'll distract the GLA. But, I mean, when the GLA is not distracted at all and that's going to be a main attack, I don't like that at all. Okay, Green is pushing this area again. He's actually gone Avengers. It's surprising. I don't normally see that too much as, um, as you say. Actually, is he hunted? No, he's not hunted. Uh, he is level 3, though. Could drop down a CC and get the A10. Ooh. Yeah, I think that V could have moved out. Actually, if that V had just walked over here straight away, could have killed a few of these um, 
we killed a few of these auroras but the aurora was actually struggling to hit the ground then wasn't it it was like directly underneath it Ooh. yeah the bombardment's gonna go down as well as the uh, strategy center there very nice tnt indeed but there's enough buggies out now to counter pretty much whatever will come that's another nice aurora here that's going to be the last aurora though because um unless he queued up a load but yeah his strat's dead now so it's going to be a while yeah, it's still only collecting on one Chinook here is really questionable. These oils should have been taken absolutely ages ago. This this spot should have been secured as soon as this GLA surrendered. And this guy had GLA with power. Just drop down five tunnels or something and get these oils and hold this position. But you have a feeling the left side team are going to lose based on what I'm seeing. Nice Aurora hit. Making use of that one Aurora. Actually, he did queue up a few. He's queued up at least one. Only let's know one worker back here. Uh, worker shoes in play as is the Demo Rebel Ambush. He's actually level three, and I haven't seen a CC yet. Definitely a weird game. <laughs> Definitely weird. It's basically a 2v2 now, isn't it? Basically what it is. Um, these buggies have pushed all the way into the base by themselves. No backup or anything. That demo bike is going to get a few kills. Yeah, I guess two. Definitely worth it. But I think actually green is now hunted. So maybe sending them buggies in was decent actually because yes, yeah, somehow found the last dose there. 95% CC. And the buggies are somehow going to clear up these Vs as well. And the missile defender, the evac there. Now the oil going to get focused down. Yeah, so this yellow player knows to focus down the oils. It could, it could go for the kills there on the ambulances, which you could argue maybe you should do, but that oil there is definitely a top priority. Oh, here's a dozer. What the hell? That was his last. <laughs> that was his last, and now the CC has been focused down as well. So, yeah, uh, green is going to be left on War Factory, War Factory Barracks. On the collection on one Chinook as well but actually one's been sent over here do you have supply lines upgrade no supply lines should be the first upgrade to get from the strategy summit uh, blue is taking over all the middle that's something we haven't seen so far a lot of action in the middle usually the glas will at least be fighting over it uh one aurora gets shot down there he actually shot his mate's supply because they just blocked the shot Yeah, yellow's looking pretty beefy now. Look at all these quads. We've got AP ammo and the repair feature. But the green's looking pretty dead, actually. It's looking very dead. <laughs> Don't know if you... I don't know if you... I mean, he's got, still got War Factory Barracks. He's got a few oils. blue which i think is dark nine is now sending quads across the map um doesn't have ap ammo or the repair feature yellow's floating actually 6k whereas blue is spending all of his cash oils are oils now have been killed still collecting on one worker back there four or five workers there better gunship comes in with the save there uh this whole spot has now been cleared um and it's just a war factory barracks and one oil now for green. This supply still hasn't been taken. That's a really, really poor move, especially when there's a worker here right now. That should have been taken, honestly, what, about 10 minutes ago? How soon did that player quit? 12 minutes ago? <laughs> Something like that. Definitely should have. Yeah, I think I think this was like a little a little internal tournament, mainly between personal mates. I believe they were from the US, I'm not 100 percent sure. Um and I think it was like I'm sure they did the prize in Euros. Was it Euros? It was like 500 Euros or something for the winning team. And I, I don't even I didn't even follow it to the end, to be honest. I kinda like because it was so kind of under wraps, didn't really know like I don't even know where the bracket is or anything. Literally a couple of Discord messages is the only way I found out about it. So I don't even know who won in the end or if this is from the final or or whatever. I really don't know. But I believe, yeah, it was mainly a group of friends. I heard they were from the US, but I don't know.
and fire some great guessing that's from blue yeah in my view blue really should have probably won the game by now the whole middle should be just covered in stingers and tunnels and and supplies you should have all the upgrades 50 million uh ap ammo quads that supply should have been taken 12 minutes ago those oils should have been taken ages and ages ago that were left uncapped for ages middle building has not been captured you could argue maybe you should have captured them as well that could be captured taken rather yeah it's a bad pop that's a horrendous pop nah still horrendous pop nah this is bad wasted units a lot of wasted units there Making another arms dealer at this point. Mm. I mean, that's going to be mined out. So one worker, <laughs> one worker is going to collect the whole whole lot. Lou has found this stealth supply now. If you ever wondering if there's a supply there? You can either try and place a building, or just scan it with the US, or just hover over there, and you can see that the workers would actually be collecting the cash. You watch it now. It's been down seventy five dollars. Yeah, that building should be captured and there should be a supply there now. Actually, with demo, I'd like to see loads of demo traps planted as well because the chances are, because there's not, well, there's no Vs on the map. It's just the Roarers and, and this. Chances are some buggies or some quads will eventually run into uh, run into some demo traps. Okay, green is going around with a clear-up mission now. Had a sneak attack deep in the back of Blue's base. Blue actually did lose his oils. That was, that was very painful. <laughs> that was extremely painful because he was focused on shooting a $500 barracks. Meanwhile, there were two demo bikes going to come and wreck his entire army. Like each quad is $700. So all you need to do is attack, move the ground there, and they would have actually defended against the bikes and your whole army would have survived and you probably would have killed about at least half of his quads as well. Maybe even won the battle. Maybe even won the game. <laughs> but yeah, still focusing down the barracks when two demo bikes are right there is a very, very bad move. That whole army now will get cleared up. But it's definitely making it more interesting because there was, there was a trade-off over here, trade-off over here. He's using the contaminate function to get rid of the toxin that's been deployed in his base. It's always weird with that because you see it's still actually here. I don't know if you need to if it's better to force fire the ground. I never know. I need to actually test it myself. Oh, it's gone now. It probably would have gone anyway though. Yeah. Never know if it's better to force fire the ground or if it's better to press C and use the contaminate function. Um, okay, this is being collect collected now, and I like these demo traps. Maybe he was listening. Uh, we've got three particle cannons on the field, though, for pink. What EMP is going up? Wow, nice army here. So combining the roars, it's going to be nice. Yeah, that is a beefy army. Demo Rebel Ambush there comes in for blue. That was the first Demo Rebel Ambush I saw. I know, did he have that CC for, for since ages ago? I don't know if he did or not. Maybe I was just being blind in it. I'm half asleep. <laughs> Okay, nice particle there. Very, very nice. This supply has finally been taken after about 20 minutes. <laughs> nice particle again. Blue is getting absolutely wrecked actually with these particles. Um, the more I think about it, you know, I think pink might be logical. 
because he would have played mid spot. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I'm really confused about this game, to be honest. <laughs> I'm confused as hell, but it certainly looks like blue's going to lose. Green's quit. Uh... I think the economy and the base setup is just better for this left side team now because they've got markets spread around. Okay, not loads. Still got two oils there as well. Boogie's going to go down 100%. I think Blue's just going to run out of cash. Because... It, it, does he have any income whatsoever? Oh, this supply here. Yeah, Blue's getting absolutely destroyed by these particles. He's basically got no income. Got $287. Uh, he's building a supply. No power there from his mate. Uh, for me, I think this Justice guy has been... Oh, has he been MVP? Mm. He's had the more solid army and stuff. And he had a really good engagement there against the sneak attack. Uh, the only d bad thing I didn't like about him, I suppose, was targeting that barracks. But he, let's say he wasn't lurking or something. But yeah, I think yellow might have been MVP here. It's definitely... In the strongest position out of everyone left. He's got his two oils, got a few markets here and there. Inks, uh. Super weapons definitely doing massive damage though. Basically, wrecked blue. Nice demorable ambush there. Need a support power. Hopefully, pink has something. I think he's beaconed it. Oh. No, if, if he's gonna beacon it, you can imagine he's not got any support powers. Otherwise, he wouldn't beacon it. He'd just leaflet it or something. Not his specter. Yeah, it could have been late. Nice Amphrax bomb. Um, I don't know, man. <laughs> has Blue got... Uh, Blue has got a chance. If he, if he took over all the middle now and kept Pink's power down. Does he know where the power plant is, though? I think Pink might need to sell something here. Uh, how much cash? How much? Our base is being attacked. Mm, he needs a lot of power, actually. Uh, you're probably looking at what? Selling an EMP... Maybe and the particle as well. Oh no, wait. Just to upgrade that. Yeah, just to upgrade that. Yeah, yeah, just to upgrade that. Because he, he didn't have the cash a second ago. He must have sold something. I don't know what he sold. Okay. Mm, bad pop there by yellow, I think. You never want to pop like four quads against like six, for example. Because you will guaranteed lose it. And you might be lucky if you kill even two or three of his. You will definitely come off worse. So, yeah, don't don't pop unless you know you're going to win an engagement. And I think it's a skill to to judge that. But certain players like Size, Excal, these kind of players, they one of the reasons they're so good is they, they know exactly when to engage and when not to. Sometimes it's okay just to lose a tunnel at the front and lose a bit of ground. Because well, you, if you do a bad pop, You'll lose your quads and you'll lose the tunnel and the ground. But if you if you choose to engage later on, you might be able to win the battle and re regain the ground. Let's see what you rush into a bad decision, you'll lose your army and the ground. So which is the which is the better thing to do? Nice uh yeah, it's dropping down markets as well. It's got 7k in the bag. You have all the upgrades, yeah, it's all the upgrades. I would just like to see now just more and more. Markets, tunnels drop down. Just c continue what they're doing. I can't see any way Blue's going to win now. Really can't. Even just first the particles alone, he's going to struggle. Never mind. The triple A10 and these sneak attacks. Not controlling this again, though. Remember, 
before, like when he started getting that barracks, he's again not just not looking. We popped a worker there, it's the ladies' quads getting in. Another quad there gets picked off. Where did that A10 even go? Did something. <laughs> did something, we know that. Squads win the engage. Interesting one. Very, very close. But that there is the strongest type of quad. When you scrap that up, it actually weakens the DPS. So that's the strongest you can get. So the scrapped up ones here, we're actually doing less damage than that bad boy. And that does like <laughs> something like 240% DPS or something mental compared to the original quad. Definitely go back for that. These don't have the junk repair though, these blue pods. Expect a gunship coming in here on blue's supply. Um, this could potentially be a little bit dangerous. Blue's done a nice job amassing this amount of quads. Ooh, damn rebel ambush there is completely annihilated all them quads. Blue might actually have a chance here. He is pushing in and he's mincing through every single quad there. And if he takes out that... Uh, Has he got low power? Nah, he has. Oh, he has got low power. The so particle does a bit of damage, but then runs out of power, so it just cuts off early. There is a palace over here. There is a bombardment here as well. So yeah, the left team for once are in a little bit of danger. Here comes an eight, not an eight ten, a fuel air bomb or uh, yeah, fuel air bomb. Six foot. Well, it could have been lethal. Would get sniped. That's probably Blue's best chance. You like broke if you broke through there then and gets that CC, then all of a sudden it's looking pretty good. And Frax Bomb comes in, not really gonna kill anything at all. How much is that dozer there a little bit? Yeah, Blue's in a bit of a predicament, really, because he can make a palace and start making markets here, there, and everywhere. Or you can just try pumping out loads of units and try and close the game out now. I think the latter option is the best, pumping out all of them quads and trying to win the game now because I think if you let it go any longer and you start building markets, then I think these um, articles will just kind of play whack-a-mole. You'll build a market and then it will whack your uh, <laughs> black market and uh, he's going to know where it is because he's got a strategy center. So yeah, you'll be fine an uphill battle. I think pouring more money into units right now is the best option. And I think maybe a sneak attack might be the best option. Look at the devil. But I think actually back there would have been better. Doesn't have the radar upgrade. Big mistake there, really. That bombardment is doing a hell of a damage. That bombardment is so annoying because it really does weaken your army. And basically, is it a two shot on your quad? I think it is. Two shot on your quad if it's a direct hit. Okay, Blue's collecting from the middle. He's still collecting from this supply, which is crazy, really. At 30 minutes, this has still got 5Ks left. Really crazy. Oh, geez, he does have the AP rockets. Comes an Amphrax bomb. Ah, man. Oh, it didn't hit. It didn't hit. That would have been painful for Blue. But actually, if he manages to get in now he, and keep on top of the power and get, get rid of the CC, get rid of the strat, I think actually he's got a good chance. I think is kind of... Is he kind of useless at the moment? He's got a Spectre. He might have Leaflet, but I don't think he's got Leaflet because we haven't seen it. Yeah, unless he's saving it for a rainy day. Now is a rainy day. Because if it gets back here and starts taking out these uh, these power plants... Actually, you could even just beat these quads. Remember, he's got Demerable Ambush on cooldown as well. He's doing really well, to be honest. Okay, two quads survive. He's going to take out the power now. I mean, Pink's going to run out of cash eventually. He's going to what, what's he been selling? EMPs, I think he's been selling. Because he had one back here before, but he's been selling them to rebuild the powers. Yeah, Blue's keeping it. Blue can win here, you know. Blue really can win. <laughs> this is crazy. The only thing I worry about for Blue is the support powers. And Frank's has just been used. Your air bomb. 
is on cooldown. Spectre's only just been used, and A10 has just been used, I think. Blue really needs to keep up the pressure. He, he is doing, though. There's a Scud Storm going up here. I probably would cancel that if I was yellow now and pump it all into units, because I'd be thinking I'm going to lose the game any minute now, because blue... Man, this game has been back and forth. <laughs> this game has been back and forth. Yellow has now got power, by the way. Uh, and he's, he's, he was strong without power. So how is he going to do, do with power? I think probably pretty well. Uh, I think that's it. I think... Is Yellow really going to be able to hold this? Losing his oils, man. This is bad. This is the weirdest game. <laughs> he's, he's not going to find the Skirdo. Yeah, he is. He's going to find it. It's going to take 43 seconds, but I think it's that one there that's got 43 seconds. Rebel Ambush, top of the quads, very nice. That's good, there's going to get found, so, well, it has been found. Just sell it, 32.5k back. If he lets that die, nah. It's not going to sell him for time. It's a big error, man. You could have got 2.5k back, plus it would have stopped him getting a Vet 3 quad, which, as I told you before, the DPS on a Vet 3 quad is mental. Huge mistake there, not selling that. Um, okay. With that EMP up, it does make things a lot more difficult. We've got a Scud and a Particle ready to fire. Who's going to run out of cash in the middle soon? Alice here gets hit. And one of the markets. Might get the sneak as well. I mean, it's not that important, but I mean, if you can kill it, get it. Is that going to be on the production? There goes now for x plane. <laughs> it's going to be on this market. That's pretty nice. Getting the radar van there as well as the barracks. Get a couple of RPGs as well. Here comes the Amphrax bomb now from blue. Would you sell that War Factory in Barracks? Probably would. Because you're not going to want to build these against a GLA at this stage, I don't think. So yeah, I probably would have sold them to get a little bit of extra cash. It's going to be building at half speed as well because he doesn't have power. But yeah, I'm still confused about who's who. Blue could be logical, you know. <laughs> That's what I think now. Yeah, was it was a bit was it blue that did that weird engagement back here before and it was a massive waste. It was, that was a bit a bit weird. But I mean he's building a palace back here. He did take over all the mid eventually. He's taken over I think it was like in the beginning he was in like first gear and then now he stepped it up. Now it's a now it's a 1v1. Yeah, the expansion to the mid earlier on was poor, but now all of a sudden the expansion's actually gone good. That's nice Amphrax there from yellow. There's a lot of the army. Hell of a lot of the army. But regardless, blue is going to get in and start hitting the power now. It's got a battle bus in there as well. I can't really see any way yellow's going to win now. Bombardment. Yeah, I think blue's, blue's won. Hmm. 
Blue's actually got 11k in the bank. Still making quads. I think yellow's probably been dead for about two or three minutes. Uh, I think staying any longer now, it's just uh, delaying the inevitable. Uh, uh, yellow is definitely dead. Especially you back in his RPGs here. Very, very desperate. <laughs> CC's there gonna go down as well. Yeah, this is 100% GG. He's probably, he's probably typing now saying GG. Bunch of markets going up here for blue. Yeah, I now think I mean, let me know <laughs> if you noticed anything. But when I watch these replays, I don't know who anyone is. I'm trying to analyze it and watch the level of play and try and figure out who the you expert is or who the experts are not. Now, in the beginning, Blue was not collecting. In fact, should we just jump back into the beginning of the replay? Let's just jump back into the beginning. All right, so just jumping back into the beginning. If I just fast forward it a little bit. What kind of a build order? So that's a decent build order and an aggressive worker there as well. Straight into that. So I think now that is Logica. Yeah, terrorist in position. Only killed, only killed the Ranger, but it was a terrorist in position. Uh, that was a, that's a big mistake. That's what why I thought it wasn't Logica for a while. It's, but sometimes it happens, man. Especially when you've been dropped, you can forget it too. And then there was a very late oil cap as well. Um, but he did kill his guy pretty quick this player here who surrendered and didn't get any oil or even did he even take his supply i don't even know i think he'd lost his supply but then didn't have enough cash for oil. i don't know what's going on there i think that could have been dark nine actually uh but yeah very very <laughs> very very weird very very weird indeed but yeah let me know in the comments who you think is who i think in the end for me i think uh quantati Logica, and I think, um, <laughs> take a sheet. <laughs> I think that might have been Dark Nine. I might have got this completely wrong, by the way. I'm just totally guessing. I'm half asleep, by the way. As well. <laughs> you let me know in the comments what you thought. It's still a, it's still a cool game down to the end. A few, quite a few mistakes throughout that, but you get that when it's like a mix of levels. Like, um, yeah, you got some expert players and some semi players, and but yeah, a little fun one for you. Anyway, GG. Well played and see you in.